Now to Australia, where an appeals court has rejected Cardinal George Pell's appeal of his sexual abuse conviction. The 78-year-old is the most senior Roman Catholic cleric to be convicted of that crime, and he's currently serving a six-year prison sentence for abusing two 13-year-old boys in the 1990s. Nicole Strawn from our partners at Network 10 is at the courthouse with more. George Pell entered the court in full clerical robes and appeared rather frail as he sat down. Throughout the proceedings, he stared at the three appeal court judges as they delivered their verdict that he had lost his appeal and would be returning to prison to serve out his minimum term of three years and eight months, with a maximum term of six years. Now, the appeal court ruling was one of two to one. The majority judges finding that it was possible for the jury in this case to find beyond reasonable doubt that George Pell was guilty. In particular, they took note of the evidence of the victim in this case and that he was believable. Now, as that verdict was read out by the Court of Appeal, George Pell showed no emotion at all as he learns that he will go back to prison. Now, this is not the end of the matter. He does have the possibility of taking this all the way to Australia's highest court. And while George Pell may have shown very little emotion in the court as he learned his fate, it was a very different scene outside the court where a large number of survivor advocates and victims gathered to hear this ruling. And they let out a roar that could in fact be heard inside the court when they heard that decision, Anne-Marie. Nicole Strong, thank you.